Hello and welcome to another Star Citizen podcast. Today we're looking at size 3 ship mounted weapons and alternatives currently available. Their strengths, weaknesses and which are in my opinion the best. We're going to be talking specifically about the Tranchler 870 Mark III Ballistic Cannon, the 11 Series Longsword Ballistic Cannon, the Mantis GT220 Gatling Gun, the Tiger Strike Gatling Gun, the Panther Laser Repeater and the N4160F Hornet Nose Turret. The Tarantula 870 Mark III is a ballistic cannon. It's very slow firing with an average max range and average bullet travel time. It does have a good damage per hit though. It has a very low damage per second for a size 3 weapon and extremely limited ammo. It's very hard to hit a target as well. It's available from the Voyager Direct Store for 11,000 UEC or to rent for 1,100 rec. But it isn't worth the credits in any situation. It's really low damage per second, really, really limited ammo. It's just not worth the credits it's printed on. The 11 series longsword is also a ballistic cannon. Slow firing, average bullet travel time, but with an excellent max range and a good DPS profile. It has a lot more ammo too. It's still quite hard to hit the target with, but it is significantly better than the Tarantula Mark III. It's available from the Voyager X store for 12,000 UEC or to rent for 1,200 rec, although there are much, much better choices available for a size 3 weapon. It isn't going to give you any overheating or power issues. The Mantis GT220. This is a ballistic Gatling gun and it suits a very specific purpose to saturate fast maneuverable targets in lots of bullets. It has the fastest fire rate of any weapon currently available. Loads of ammo but only a average DPS and max range. Its rounds are very low damage each but it's a ballistic weapon so it has good shield penetration and can be so great against these fast moving targets. If your ship has problems keeping up with quick moving targets then one or two of these Gatling guns can be ideal. Due to the nature of Gatling weapons though they can have some heat problems in a prolonged fight. They're available from the Voyager Direct store for 16,000 UEC or to rent for 1600 rec. These suit a very specific purpose and are great for PvP and PvE alike. The Tiger Strike T21 is currently only available as the gimbaled nose gun on the Avenger. It's exclusive to the Avenger currently. It has a very fast fire rate, excellent max range, average damage per hit and average bullet travel time, but an amazing damage per second profile. It does take a bit of skill to use and can have some heat problems if you're going to be firing a lot. You need to make your modest ammo supply count, but once you get used to the way the Tiger Strike fires, it is one of the best weapons in the game currently in my opinion. It's only available though as the nose on the Avenger, which it comes with as standard. The Panther Laser Repeater is really quite a great weapon. It has a fast fire rate, good max range, good bullet travel time, and above average damage per hit. It has a very, very good damage per second profile and is really easy to hit your target with, which you can't put a price on actually being able to land those hits. Um, it can have some power and heat issues as it is an energy weapon, but it does cool down very fast. Uh, and if you have a reserved kind of firing style, you'll find the Panther is quite an amazing weapon. It's quite expensive though at 18,000 UEC from the Voyager Direct Store, or 1800 Rec to rent, but it is a great choice if you don't know what else to put on your ship, and it pairs well with pretty much any other weapon. Really great choice, Panther Laser Repeater. The Hornets, and hopefully other ships soon, will have access to mounting their choice of a fixed size 3 weapon, a size 2 gimbal, or a turret with two size 1 weapons soon. The Hornet series has this choice currently in the form of the N4-160F turret, which is available from the Voyager Direct store for 20,000 UEC or to rent for 2,000 rec, or as standard on the Super Hornet. This turret allows the mounting of two size 1 weapons, such as OmniSky 3s, and this makes it a great alternative to a single size 3 weapon, even if you're flying in relative mode. 
So in the case of two Omni Sky 3s rather than a single size 3 weapon, it will actually have a weapon with a faster bullet travel time, better range and higher combined DPS than anything the size 3 range currently has. Except maybe the Tiger Strike. This is an extremely pricey choice though, especially in the example we've given that would cost you 44,000 UEC in total. If credits are not a problem and you own a Hornet, this can be a great option. That can give you some power issues though if you're going for two energy weapons. I also quite enjoy the loadout of two Sledge 2s. It gives you a huge amount of DPS. Please check out my Size 1 Weapons podcast for more info on that too. Anyway guys, I hope that was informative. There are quite a few options for the Size 3s. Um, some of them are quite... Um, situational others are pretty restrictive please don't forget to like and subscribe it really does help me and i will see you in the verse